Hello race fans, Keith Collantine here. Formula One wants to revolutionise the quality of racing in 2021. Here's the latest on how they plan to do it. You're looking at a concept car design for the 2021 F1 season known as India, which Formula One team bosses have been shown. It contains several changes intended to make it easier for cars to follow and overtake. Let's take a look at the ideas in this concept and how they might work. As far as the front wing goes, the big change is that there's no longer the flat central section which wings have been required to have since 2009. The flaps now extend all the way towards the nose. The nose itself reaches down towards the front wing in another distinction between this concept and current 2019 cars. It also doesn't have the unsightly thumb tip which we've grown rather used to seeing. Hopefully that's going to be an aesthetic change for the better we can expect to see on the final things. Moving on to the wheels, another significant change in this concept car is the addition of wheel covers. It's not clear whether these covers are intended to rotate with the wheel or whether they'll stay static in position as we saw on the ones that F1 cars had around 2008 and 2009. But again the aim of the game here is all about cleaning up the air which comes off the tyres and making it easier for cars behind to follow. And again, that's the same reason why we see these unusual new protrusions extending above the top of the wheels. These have been referred to by some as canards. This will also have a big effect on changing the turbulent air that spills off the wheels and again, hopefully, make it easier for cars to follow. This is a pretty significant stylistic departure from what we've seen on Formula 1 cars in the past, however, and some might even ask whether it starts to get away from the tradition of having open-wheel racing cars. But arguably the most important change on this car comes at the floor, where it looks like Formula 1 are planning to use the ground effect to create a greater proportion of the car's total downforce. F1 wants to move away from having much of the downforce created by the surface wings and having more of it produced from the underneath of the car. We've seen this work to very good effect recently in IndyCar when it changed its aero kit for the 2018 season. In F1's case, we can see bigger tunnels at the back of the diffuser. We can also see a new inlet towards the front of the car to help pull more air into the diffuser and create greater downforce that way. Finally, looking at the back of the car, we can see it now has a small shark fin. That'll be partly aesthetic, but it may also help to balance the car and improve the rear wing performance. And perhaps the most intriguing detail on the India car is there's no obvious sign that it has a drag reduction system. DRS has been a controversial addition to Formula 1 since it was added in 2011. Some people, and I've got to say it myself included, find it a rather artificial way of aiding overtaking. If this car works the way it's supposed to do, perhaps they will finally be able to race wheel to wheel without relying on push button passing for much of the overtaking moves. For a much more in-depth look at the India concept, check out Craig Scarborough's analysis of the car for us on racefans.net. Thanks very much for watching. For the latest from us, make sure you follow us on at racefans.net on Twitter and Facebook. And don't forget to hit subscribe on the top right now so you don't miss our next video.